Hey guys, what's up? It's me. You know who it is. You landed on my vlog, right? I have here the Bluetooth Remote Shutter by Ashut B. I'm really not sure how you're supposed to say it because it's A-S-H-U-T and then there's a B. I've already opened it, so I'll, I'll go ahead and open it for you guys so you guys can see what the product is. Let me get a little closer here. Uh, this is what you have, okay? And I'll, I'll take a screenshot of it for you. Um, essentially, what it does, and by the way, you can buy it on Amazon and it's pretty cheap. So that's cool. It's primarily to take pictures with. Now, by accident, I was playing with it and I lowered the volume of my iPhone 5S, so not really sure how that worked. But at the end of the day, it has two buttons here, so I'll go ahead and uh, pop this bad guy out. One, the larger button, is for the iPhones, uh, any iPhone. I take that back. You do have to have the proper software and be able to get the the app that is needed to take the pictures and do what you need to do. So uh, it's in the instruction booklet, but essentially if you have an iPhone 4S, 5, 5S, it's gonna work for you. But again, reference the manual that it comes with. So basically what it does, let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What this little guy does is you connect it via Bluetooth, you download an app, and that's pretty much it. As soon as you've got the app loaded, it acts like Instagram meets your camera and they have a baby and the product that you get is their app because you can do some filtering in there you can it stores it it houses it for you uh, which is actually pretty neat because you think about the fact that when you take pictures it goes on your camera roll which takes up space on on that this is putting it on the app so it's actually not taking up space on your phone that's pretty cool, right? So actually, once you have the app downloaded and you've got the Bluetooth connected and synced, which it's seamless, it's extremely easy, there's an on and off button. Once you turn it on and you turn your Bluetooth on, it's gonna find it. So this, anyone can use this product. So basically, once you do that, you just open the app and you're gonna see a camera with a grid much similar to what you could see on your iPhone and you're good to go. You place your camera anywhere you want it to be, you click this little guy, there's a big button for the uh, iPhones, and there's a little button for any Android. So it does work on multi-platforms, which is pretty cool. And that's it. The way I have the camera filming me right now, if I was gonna take a picture, all I would have to do is set it up as it is right now, put this little guy in my pocket, because I mean, you're gonna take a picture. I don't think you really want this to be seen in the picture. So you'll put this in your pocket, and take your pose, and Click, 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 that's it. You're good to go. And it's pretty convenient. So it's it, it takes away some of the whole selfie, you know, you're all super close to, to yourself. That's kind of lame now, um, even though we all still do it. This gives you another option. And there's also a little tripod that comes with it. So give me a split second and I'll get that for you. Here you go. This is the tripod. It closes up like this opens up like this see if I can get in there show you guys once again the remote so basically you have this little thingy majig that I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna take a picture of it because it's currently being used on, you know with the iPhone that's filming me but it screws onto the top of that tripod and it, it, it works very very well it's the best one I've, I've found so far so I'll go ahead and I'll make sure that I put everything down below. You'll get links to everything. Um, everything was purchased from Amazon. Again, that's pretty cool. I have Amazon Prime. If you've got Prime, then you know what's up. If you don't have it, get it. So again, this is the Bluetooth remote shutter. Really simple, really tiny. It even has this little loop thingy so you can put some you can attach it to your keys put a little rope on it um, it's pretty neat and uh, just to give you guys an idea of the specs it's compatible with Android 4.2.2 OS or newer and iOS 6.0 or newer so that gives you some you know take a look at your phone look at the settings and that'll tell you exactly whether or not it's gonna work for you or not um, to give you an idea of anything further it's uh, the compatibility list iPhone 5S, 5C5, iPhone 4S4, iPad 3 and 2, iPad mini, iPad with Retina display, iPod Touch 4th generation or newer, 
Um, there you have it on iPhones so or, or iOS's. Now I'll jump into Samsung S2, S3, S4, Note 1, Note 2, Note 3, Tab 2, Note 8, and 10.1 Plus, Moto X, Nexus 4, 5, 7 on up, the XIAOMI, so Xiaomi, I'm really not sure. Sony Xperia S, HTC New 1 and X, yeah. You can use this to take pictures of yourself without having to hold the phone. And if you are going to hold the phone and you want to hold it in a selfie position, the cool thing about it is, again, you can have the little button down here and it allows you to get that camera as far out as possible so that it's not exactly in your grill. And you just click the button and you're good to go. You got your picture. So that's my review of the Bluetooth Remote Shutter by ASHUT. B. Again, if any of you guys know how to properly pronounce this, please leave a comment, let me know. Otherwise, everything will be down below in the links. And as always, you can go ahead and subscribe, you can like this. If you have further questions, let me know. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward and you're good to go. This has been a review by ICU and I will see you later.